Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida, late in the day at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard, and uh, I need to play. The sun is setting earlier these days, but I want to do some stuff, and I think I'm just going to give myself permission to start any old way that I want, and that means that I get to do the scape I've been craving. And I think I might even use some of the silver I was promising somebody. I want to do a snow scene at some point. I just haven't really got to the point where I'm ready yet. I gotta check my bottles more often, I gotta say. A lot more often. Why? If I get it out one second, why is it still so plugged in the second? Oh! Second, second. Okay. I know what the deal is. There's stuff in the threads, and as soon as I use it, it goes straight in. I'm going to take that right now, because I might want it again in a second. Yep. Oh, it's a, it's a Floatrol worm. Come out, you. Out, out. Pull my threads clean. Now, seldom have I actually put the color into the cloud. Usually, I put it around it. But this time, I just feel like being belligerent and trying something a little different. Right into the white. Why not? We should try something new all the time. I'm not sure those colors go together in the least. But, that never stopped me before. And like I say, often, wow, there's another one in that one. I gotta clean my bottles out. I just did it yesterday though. I think some gold down there isn't gonna hurt anything. Make sure it's shaken. And whatever I need, when I need it, I'll use it. And uh, I have a little bit of paint left over right there. That was ridiculous, never mind. So what else do I want up there? I want, not that. <laughs> I was pretty sure I shook everything. All right, so I really want all kinds of stuff. And I think I'm gonna give myself all kinds of stuff. Just, I'm gonna try and even up. I didn't put any blue up there. I'm gonna put some blue up there too. And how about everything? Just, let's just, and nothing is coming out. Oh, that's so cute. And when it does, it's spitting at me. There's the color I want. And it too. All right, now it's edge catcher time. Cross your fingers. And worst case scenario, this turns into something that I can put trees in tomorrow. Let's go this way first, that way second, that way third. Let's just go all the way over. Make sure that's flat, not holding it too tight. I got some truly strange colors. I actually wound up with more color in my sky than I did in my land, and I was worried that I had more land than sky color. So I'm inclined to go ahead, take some of this gorgeous Art Mines color, and maybe even some more black. I need another edge catcher. I just schmutzed up my the one I was using very thoroughly. I want to go back again. Hey, it might be pretty. It might not be escape at all. Although I kind of think I could dip another canvas in there or pour it off and it would be fine. Oh, I don't want all of that to go in there. Come on. No. <laughs> it's being uncooperative. All right, I'm gonna go up. If we get a mountain, that's fine. Here goes nothing. Ooh, it's pretty nothing. 
Seems like it's going to be nice. And I want to go up into the sky and down into the land. And so I'm going to start with the bottom. Hope that I can get away with it before the sky becomes so completely mixed with the land that I can't do anything about it. We're still going to get something really cool out of this, I can tell now. I need paint down on that bottom edge. And I could probably swipe it in place if I wanted to. But I'm just that much of a risk taker. I've also got all kinds of stuff. That's just too wild. This means right now that I can take an omelet turning spatula, drop all that paint right somewhere else as accents, because I hate wasting it. Put that away. Let's do, let's do that. I can't really do it in the sky, can I? I can. You know what? I think it's mostly black. Here's the other one. I'm gonna take that purple and put that boat. <laughs> Misfire. I'm gonna take all of this and push it up against the top edge. Alright, so that's a little strange. But it's also very cool. I like this hillside. I'm not sure what this is. I think that's a mountain. I think it needs to be merged with this other area here. It looks like an uphill river. So let's make it into something else. And I could always tip again. That's just neat. It's very abstract, but I don't care. I'm glad it doesn't have any more white in it. The white was meant for the top half. Do I need anything else? I don't know. It kind of is what it is. Where's my straw? I had it right here. Let's see what happens. I know, I destroyed some beautiful things, but you got to break a few eggs, right? And that'll look more like clouds anyway. Not that that does. That was kind of unexpected. I think I might have a little more paint than I thought I did. But I don't really mind, either. I kind of like that over there. I think I'm going to wipe my spatula off and give it a bit of a pull. I'm going to wipe it right off on my edge catcher. That way, if I want it back, I can have it back. I really just want to tip that. Do I? Maybe I don't. What do I want to do? It's <laughs> a good question. I know what I want to do. That's not it. I need a smaller piece of chain. I guess I'm just going to be willing to make a mess. I wanted to use chain today anyway. Just making pretty weather patterns weather uh, <laughs> sky configurations it was pretty before I know I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sure somebody's going oh you're ruining it it'll be okay I promise okay don't really promise but I'm usually pretty lucky I like all that I'm good with that confused by that blue. There. 
that's what I wanted. I wanted to change that blue up. It's a blustery day in that sky for sure. I think I'm just going to torch and call it good in a second. I like the purple. I think I need to have purple horizon line. Because I can. The name of my book on the Amazon link. Under show more. Under the video. I like to put these things in sideways and then just drag them. I'm going to have to wipe that off though. Yeah, I know. I'm just playing now. don't really want any white up there, but I do like that little forest on the edge of the <laughs> I did say I might put some trees in, right? Look, trees. I don't know what that pink is, though. I know I don't want that white in there. So let's put some green in, because we can. Or not, because we can't. Ah. Oh. I almost said a bad word. <laughs> I'm not still not hating it. It's a little complicated, but I'm actually having a good time doing it. What I really want to do is see what happens. Can I? I really want to see if I can make things that look like stems. Doesn't seem like it yet. I'm not thrilled with that. Let's just keep playing with it. Good. Now we got a forest. And there's shadows under the trees. Could probably put some more up here. I wish that would stop doing that. I really do. It just it starts with nothing and it gives me everything and then some. can knock it over the side. So that's kind of cool. I don't mind that. It makes me want to do it again, but the next time I do it, I'm going to do it on my skewer instead of taking a chance. There. Perfect. There's even a mountain in the background. And look at that cool rock, rock ledge that I just annihilated. There's a sunset behind. Let's give, uh, let's give a little torch. I got two minutes left. It is what it is. It was fun to do. Fun and fabulous. I could put some lighter blue down at the bottom and make water. That, that deep turquoise kind of looks like that anyway. This is pretty intense, but I like it. And I torched to release the bubbles in the paint, and I like to see all this paint that I've got right here because it's going to cover up my edges just perfectly. I did waste a little paint doing this, but I had fun, and it's probably the last painting I'm going to be allowed to do today and I am pretty well covered. Wow! No kidding. That's neat. Yeah. You know when you run your finger under the edges that you've got a lot of extra paint when it's coming off. But I'm pretty happy with that. It's very abstract and I don't care. Let's give you guys a good look at that and I'll wash my hands for a second. And please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. It might help me eventually. 
I only have 1% of my 80,000 subscribers able to watch my videos, so you might want to check your subscriptions and make sure you still have them if you happen to rediscover me and you weren't getting them. Check your settings and your notifications. If you're not getting those, <laughs> you might have to start those again as well. I have an Amazon link under the video. Everybody's heard this. Who's heard this a million times. And uh, if you shop there at no added cost to you, it helps me out. And I appreciate that. Christmas is coming. I've got wonderful, wonderful stuff underneath the video from Teespring. My, my all over print designs and um, leggings. And all kinds of pillows and other stuff. And if you are looking for a Facebook group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation is for students. And Expressionist Art Studio Gallery for fans and collectors is for people who might want to buy some artwork someday. And uh, Expressionist Art Studio Totes and More will take you to my Fine Art America and Pixels.com site if you should want to see what I've been doing since there, since about 2013. I started a website there. And uh, they have everything. But they don't have t-shirts with the designs on the back like they do at Teespring, which I really like a lot. That is bothering me. There we go. At least spread it out a little bit. So, this is uh, Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying thank you for joining me. Thank you for all the contributions that have kept me painting all this time. Um, <laughs> thank you for the wonderful comments that keep my morale up during these interesting times when things used to be flush and now they're as far from flush as they can get almost. And I really appreciate you guys keeping me, keeping me coming back because um, the only reason I'm here is because I love you now. And I do. I love you guys. There's over 80,000 of you when you get around to it, I guess, or when YouTube lets you see. If you watch more videos or you watch the commercials with the videos or you look for the end screens for the, uh, for the monthly drawing and contribute $10 through PayPal or Patreon or even Zelly, um, you'll get into the monthly drawing and I'll sh send you a receipt of what's available for the monthly prize. That purple is like disappearing, huh? That's so strange. I might have to fix that. Yeah, I am going to fix that. Because I like that shadow under there. That was making me happy. And under here too. It's my MO. I'm, I want to change things. There, forests are back. Just using a little bamboo skewer action. Looks like uh, they spent some heavy weather up there, <laughs> bent my trees. There we go. So I'm sure I've forgotten to tell you guys something. I'm not sure what it is. I do sell my artwork. If uh, you want to help me support my studio and my habit, <laughs> buy some artwork. Uh, I maintain a strict price structure so that the value is maintained. I do promise to be more famous than I am now someday. I'm going to take that bug right out of there. Why is there a bug in my painting? Why is there not? Why are there not more bugs in my painting is really the question. All right. So I'm going to torch to release the bubbles in the paint and maybe some patterns. And the next time I make escape, that's the one I'll put aftermarket trees in. In the meantime, this is pretty cool and I like it a lot. I'm always trying to free my you think you think I'm like free and easy and brave and all that other stuff, but really I have the same weird constraints in my head that you guys do. But well, that's neat, looks like rocks. Very cool. I don't know what all that is, but I don't care either. I know I don't like bubbles in my artwork, and uh, the pouring mediums just naturally create bubbles in the work that you need to get out, or they leave little pits, little craters when they pop after you put the artwork away, or, um, or actual bubbles, which we really don't like. So that's it for me. I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out. Well, sort of out. We'll zoom in for a second and check on things. All right, you guys. Check um, community board for tomorrow's video and uh, playlist 100 through 900 and subjects. Take care. See you soon. 
Thanks for being here. I really appreciate you guys. Bye for now.